Welcome to our third MVM demo review. We're gonna go take a look at gaming. Gaming, gaming. Please don't crash. So we are on production. You don't really, you don't really give a lot of time to look at your upgrades for the most part, which is fine. It just says that you know what you want to actually upgrade. It's you get some firing speed and reload speed, which is pretty normal. Oh, uh, Engie's in that house, and everyone else sits on the high ground there. Not sure how familiar you are with these missions, but going forward like this, not really ideal right off the bat. Considering your team was super behind too. But whatever, right? It just it just happens. Another stellar revive from the medic. They're holding. Keeping your distance, as you should as demo man most of the time. Friends, but not with randoms, alright. So you had more reliable teammates. As opposed to this game. Nothing wrong with using grenade launchers as like a side grade. You run out of ammo or you have stickies placed. It's at least something to fight back. Right. Personally I prefer to just main stickies if I just go for stickies. But again, nothing wrong with that. Heavy gets murdered, and everyone else gets murdered because of stellar medic shields. Sorry of my life. Pretty sure this is glitched. Upgrade refund credits. I don't think you actually got that at that stage, but no matter. You bought two crit canteens. Oh, Yakut. Which. I don't know. 
you could do early on. I don't really see a use for it unless you want to clutch something, maybe. Some giants could use it for, I guess. But that's 200 credits you could invest into. Some more firing speed or some shit like that. Health and kill, which you didn't buy, which is really interesting. Considering the amount of times you just are in fights, but barely take damage, or barely, I say. May keeping you overhealed. Really saving your ass multiple times. This is such a passive hold, kind of far back. I would have preferred to just hold it where the heavy is right now, for everyone. Not much you can really do with like pre-round stickies if you don't know what's coming from where or whatever's happening. You have to play missions multiple times to get some timing down and positioning down and shit. Helping the NG out, which is fine. A lot of people don't check for spies. Bring that engineer under control. Canteen is fine, but there's not really a big threat that would kind of um, make that worth your time. Just basically just really bots and the giant soldier. So maybe not the best use, but it worked out, so it doesn't really matter. I felt that one. And someone got taunt killed. Which is even more stellar. A little bit toxic. Ah. You haven't truly played MVM if you can't take some fucking shit from your teammates, right? Again, you sort of jump out into the fray with nothing to support you with. You just take the L for it. But hey, at least you don't have a, a problem to deal with these backscatter scouts randomly spawning in there, considering they it's spawned already. So, always see the positive in the, in the negative. In a way. Not much going on here. Tanks spawning in. Just three scouts left. And support spam. This is where probably the, the crit canteens would come in handy some more. Could have two right now, instead of just one. The tank being an issue. You don't really need to be over where the sentry is at all, so... Fine to just ignore that. But. One of the scouts snuck past from the looks of it and deployed. That's something better sentry positioning could have saved. Just blocking in the choke right away. Could have prevented that scout from just running in. I mean, I don't expect the sentry to just instantly deal with a... Uh, with a giant scout, so... Not much that the engine could have done beyond good battle positioning, really. 
I assume someone else was there too, but things like that just happen. Urgency of tanks being there, wanting to push out, but scouts running in. Like, where do you be? Where you, where you want to go, where you want to be, and shit like that. Notice Zombie was spectating, we were talking to him. I've never seen him in, in games spectating, but does he really spectate as much? So, Engie moving up with his dispenser. Positioning has improved. I've never seen him actually. At least I can't remember. Better positioning, better blocking, better holding ground. What do you know? You're just saving your canteen. Pull the giant here. And not the most threatening target, but nothing wrong. You know how to just spend your money properly, you can just do that. We've probably just saved it for the tank though. giant scouts. Mm. I mean you could, but the way you dealt with the giant scouts, I wouldn't see them too much of a problem. Could have probably put stickies on like the hatch on your last attempt if you wanted to do that, but that just leaves you with no stickies. Which is a, a good side grade. Well, not side grade. It's a good idea to do as a Sky's resistance demo, since you have free reign over your stickies and when to activate them. Over the normal sticky bomb launcher, right? So you could have still fought forward with stickies, but still um, maybe prevented the bomb from deploying. That last wave 2 attempt, but everything has up and downsides, right? arm time delay is kind of awkward to deal with if you're not used to it you have to pre-aim there's actually nothing particularly wrong with buying early damage i know a lot of people do it and they're really successful with that but i prefer to just spam 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 there's a lot of support or a lot of just common bots Want to keep control as much as possible, right? 
keep the downtime of uh, reloading and firing to a minimum. I don't actually know if the double spawns, like right here, are always like this. If the heavies always come from this side, or if the giant pyro comes always from the right, or if that's just randomized. So, setting up pre round stickies can be more effective or less effective depending on that. Pretty normal stuff. Good holds. Everything going according to plan. Cantina's fine there. Some Uber medics, some Fritz medics. Don't really want to deal with those. In the long term, it's getting early damage out, kill them. I don't know what magic you pull off during this game to barely get hit by anything, whether it's crits, bullets, explosions, or whatever the fuck. But I want some of that magic. Squeezing through there, kinda scary. You live. Like right here, you have a canteen. The earlier you're done with the tank, the better. So you can just go back to normal fights. You, you have a canteen, you could have just used it right here. Luckily, the soldier dies for you, providing you with new ammo. There's a problem with side grades, like the, the grenades and having slower reload firing speed. You're never really able to top off your, your your magazine. I guess you can call it a magazine. So you just have to relay on reloading one or two and putting those out again. On the offside the stickies do more damage, so I'm not going to talk about min-maxing, if that's better or not. As long as it works, there's no argument to be had, really. I know why you tried to deal with the sentry. It's not really a reason for it. You could just push through on the right side. Then pretty much not get shot at by it. Everyone dies to the fucking crits. Dragon's Fury not the most threatening if you know how to keep your distance, but you can use canteens there if you have one. There's not a tank you could have used it on right here, so... Either way. Doesn't matter, we go back to spawn to buy some more canteens. More damage from the looks of it. It's the right decision to make here. Spending more canteens would have just been a waste, so... Done enough to just... Save this. 
maybe could have even saved that one canteen, but. Mm. The refunded. I'm not sure if you were just unhappy with having to buy more damage at that stage early on, or if you just wanted to switch in general to spy, but. Not entirely sure why you specifically went with um, Kunai. I assume you switched to Spy because there's mainly giants in the wave, right? To end the wave. So the most effective way to deal with giants is being a Spy. Especially if you want to be independent of others and just going solo in. But you don't really need to have a kunai for that. You could just use the stock knife. Oh yeah, refunds limited in this mission. That's true. That's something to keep in mind on this mission. I didn't even fucking think about that. Health and steel fist heavies. Okay. The way I saw your playstyle though is you want to get shit done, right? Use canteens as demo. So why not do the same as spy too? Like right here, you have a giant medic. A juicy target for you, right? But you're only left with 70 health. And it doesn't even matter if you have 70 health. It's even a, a better example to just... If you really want to use Kunai, you might as well use Canteens to combo it. Like right here, get a stab and a stab. And then you Canteen in. And you probably would have lived. You would have lived, you would have had your, your overheal too. You could have gone for the giant right after that. Maybe with another canteen even, if you really wanted to just cheese it completely. I mean, cheese it, you know. Then you could have just suicided, killed yourself or whatever, and then just bought more canteens and gone back in to kill the next medic right here. As you can tell, the, the overheal from the kunai just evaporates under massive pressure. It's not that amazing to have when there's a lot of spam happening. You know, if you had just canteened in, that medic would have been dead, and none of this shit going on here would be happening. It's not a fault on your yourself particularly, but it's just would suit yourself better, I would say. Make quick fix. Again, the kunai not giving you any benefit. You wanted to just tackle those giants, I would just probably pick off some straggler, like one of these heavies, just PR out like you're doing right here. And try and go for a giant. You probably still end up dying, but you're better off just having more health to begin with. Classic. Classic spy stuff. You want to go for a stab? Robot turns.
Good engagement. That's how you want to use the kunai, really. Get a stab, get health, run after your target, and then just fucking lay into them. <sighs> These bosses are particularly annoying to just try and deal with. That guy is just taunting, turning, can't really get any stabs in. much you can do there other than take your time. It dodges. Now at that point it's not looking too hot. The med bot barely got any fucking damage in. Talk way through the map. Your team is nowhere to be fucking seen. He's blocking nicely, at least that's something. And then you somehow were able to backstab during that taunt phase of his. I don't know what to say to that. I have no clue. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. You would have probably had these if you just went canteens, but you didn't have. Maybe you didn't have the money because you had spent canteens on demo before. Not sure. You want to just play like this with demo and then spy switches later. You should probably consider just saving some money early on. You know, plan planning for later. We could have switched to demo, but I couldn't refund. Yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, I didn't think of that at all. Limited refunds. Usually refunds aren't limited. One! One! Scout's coming in. Trying to get stabs. Scout milk slowing. Helping you. Keeping your distance. Dealing with your priority targets. All good. Anyone expects you to actually deal with these uber medics, you can just tell them to fuck off, okay. There's no way you're gonna do that. In a safely fashion. Scout running towards you kinda pissed me off, but at least you didn't get shit on because of it. That was a nice surf. Fights. A giant sniper just giving no shits about you, stabbing his ass. I take that in. So far, looking like a really good wave. Maybe a bit too too eager at trying to get a stab, but I'm I'm not one to talk. I do the same shit. Now 
Let's take down that giant. See, that's how you how you do pretty nice stuff. Get a stab, get an overheal, get in for your main target, then get out. Right. Unfortunate. I mean, it worked out, as long as you get to stay alive after a revive, all's fine. I think we found it back to demo. I would have actually argued that it would have probably been more... Um, it would have been better off just staying on Spy. Considering your team getting pushed so fucking hard, and you mostly just soloing a lot of stuff in this wave in particular, with a lot of giants, a lot of uber medics, and all that. So it would have probably been better to just stay a spy, but would have, could have, you know, I can't really tell. I think canteening here is a good idea. You don't trust your team at all. There's just been a lot of teams that, that just got pushed so fucking hard by this random shit in the beginning of wave 6. The earlier you take it down, the better it probably is. That soldier burst firing his baggers just tells me that he doesn't know how to use it and is probably more inexperienced. We are trying to deal with shields and ubers. launched. We're all getting really lucky. I want some of that movement luck, you know. Team's dead, scout milk, keeping you alive. To some extent it is, but you can't always say it's 100% skill, sometimes it's just luck, luck is 50. 50, 40 maybe, I mean you know how to manipulate some shots and all that. Scout milk, saving your ass big time in this fucking engagement here. You're making it hard on yourself by just not investing in the at least a single fucking tick of health and kill, right? It's getting some kills with fully damaged stickies. Could have just and it's so much easier. Fighting with shield against shield medics is really annoying as demo. The stickies just evaporate by just the shield walking into them. And things 
are getting out of hand. Buybacks in wave 6, probably not a big deal. I mean, there's plenty of money to go around. You have all the upgrades that you want at that stage. No problem with pushing out of this fucking map in particular. Because people are too scared. You're playing this like a spy here, right? You want to get shit done, but you can't really keep yourself alive and canteening in to deal with this while well, you have nothing to sustain your fight in the front. It's just, I don't know. It's too risky in my eyes. You got some damage in, but you died, and the team's back at spawn, so are you. I'd rather just see um, a team effort of pushing forward than actually hold the position. Ooh, you got the giant medic. They're trying to do it again, but the giants are not the problem right now. Tank is. Kill a tank, you will need a fuck ton of crit spam. Or battle positioning. Even if you would have killed those giants, the tank would have deployed for fucking sure. And that's not something that's just that's on you particularly. It's more on, on the team in general. And it's kind of hard to tell what's not, what's happening with them. Since you're not really around them. The heavy makes an effort to push forward, and I, I'm not entirely sure if it's just the medic being too weak to support his endeavor. I mean, I'm I'm not going to consider the soldier in, in this at all. I don't think he contributed too much beyond blowing into his banners. Solitude. Scout. Not sure if I've I've seen him in games before. I think the medic is too weak. Support team. This is not enough positioning. That guy going so far in right at the beginning is already shit. Hold in between them. We have much choice beyond using canteens. Things aren't looking too hard. Something else to consider is the, the time you go back to buy canteens, it's time you're not actively 
helping with the wave. So while you come back, just getting that burst of damage, your damage is kind of missing in the time you're just not there. So might not be as great of an asset in teams that are already struggling. We must collect new weapons! saddens me that you're all alone in these engagements. I'm not sure why the heavy and medic went to just three people on the left side. No one on the right covering with you or helping you. You can just spam canteens left and right here, but the results are just Everyone's getting pushed back. Meaning that, that you can't really change how they play, right? This is good. You heard them coming, you know they're coming this way, you're setting up. Medic actually supporting you here. For a change. And rip stickies. Maybe you just love shield medics. Yeah, a sandwich and a full health pack there. So I guess in the heat of the moment you just forgot about that. Or didn't notice. Could have probably lived through that engagement. Trying to clear it. Always a bit awkward. Not entirely sure why the mech crits you here. He had nothing to see that was threatening. So when the actual threat rolls in, it's basically over already. Heavy raging is really an issue here. And this is this is the moment where you could have probably made a decision, right? You knew the heavy was raging, the medic is nowhere to be seen, and I, I can't really be certain if it's... If it would be working out, but the giant is right on your stickies. Right? So... You probably should have detonated on him. At this point. Because the medic wasn't on him. But... It's hard to tell if you could have taken it out before the medic came back in and since he was separated he was quick fixed and he automatically quick fixed on the giant soldiers so it was a really small time window where you might have been able to take out that giant soldier but you know raging heavies and ruining everything you haven't truly played MVM if that didn't happen at one point at least 
So yeah. Again, the giant deploys, but nobody touched the tank even, so that would have most likely deployed as well. So, overall, I think you know what you want to do, and you can get shit done, but you're just one guy. You, you can't deal with everything, right? And while the, the heavy seems to make an effort to push forward. He doesn't seem to be too independent in his, on his own. So whenever the medic just disappears, the heavy just can't take take steps forwards. He just has to fall back as well. So, yeah. You're basically down two players at this point as well. I mean, the scout is not contributing more than milk, and if nobody's actually able to stay in fights without that milk or without healing, then he's basically useless. The soldier burst firing his beggars, probably basically useless. The NG has nothing really to do beyond just trying to hold shit together, defending the bomb. And Pushing forward and then everyone just falling back. And then what do you do? You could even make the argument you would have been fine. If you think back when the medic just pointlessly used crits on you, you would have saved those crits. Or when the actual threat rolled in, the giant medic opted on you or the heavy. Giant medic down. Then focus on the soldier with the crits, leftovers, and shields. You could have maybe held that mid position and could have saved the wave that way. So it already started with the medic using his uber for nothing. The heavy raging, then it's just like the trickle. Trickle of, of those little things, right? Just adding up. Yeah, I don't know what what zombie saw that I didn't see. I mean, if the heavy decided to use knockback rage, focus on tank. You had like no no chance in hell to focus on the tank at that point. These shield mags are really something that um, I think a soldier should be dealing with. Because it's way easier for him to just jump in and jump back out. As it is for you. But you're trying to deal with it as best as you can. And it's already going better than last wave. I think you could argue that Pyro is good for this. It's cheap to upgrade, you don't have to reload. It goes through shields. Dealing with that left side is probably child's play for Pyro, yeah. And you have the Uber Medics here, which could turn into an issue. Since you can't really deal with those as Pyro safely. And you're well, more or less the only person that deals with all the shield stuff and the, the uber medics at that point. We bought some health and kill at that stage, I believe.
Apparently escaping dads. You really want to deal with with shield mags and mags like this in general. I would just consider just walking straight in them. Just walk straight in them and then just put your stickies right next to them and deal them with that. Given you can actually sustain yourself. You could just walk forward, take a bit of damage and then get some health back by just killing the medics, right? I, I don't know what the scout's damage is. I can't see damage values, but I, I would say that he's not... He's not contributing too much. Kinda behind, trying to, I guess, deal with the giants and the tank, but you think otherwise. Back out, which is probably the right decision right at this point. Maybe he's back here, getting rage into the giant mag. Woohoo! Children demos. Nah, I can't see anything. <laughs> Scoreboard wise. I was thinking of maybe um, asking to take a screenshot at the end of a mission or at some stages of a mission that were particularly problematic to be able to better analyze the situation. Again, canteens just saving it here. But the tank the tank. Oh boy, the tank. Come on, soldier man, shoot your poopy weapon. Shoot the poopy weapon. Shoot it. Canteens, dude. Thanks for the raid. Thank you, Doctor. See the scouts asking if he, if they want him to stay scout, which kind of tells me that he doesn't do any damage, because that's usually what scouts ask on last waves. That just run support. He probably chipped in some damage here and there, but probably not enough. To uh, justify him. Kind of weird. I think... I don't know who, who made that Peter Griffin spray, but I didn't see sprays in the last demos. So that's something that tells me that I've played with someone in this team already. I don't think that's your spray, I'm not sure. Because otherwise I wouldn't see that spray. That's the point, anyway. Just go heavy, keep it simple, no rage of course. That's good advice. We'll switch off. 
lots of battalions in here, so those crit stickies don't really do anything. We're still bought crit canteens. There's only three, and the other soldiers don't have any banners. So as soon as those, I think twenty battalions are gone, we could just lay it in them. But it's fine. Heavy does it. I think there's plenty of time here to go back to spawn, get canteens. So, there's nothing wrong with that. I particularly like the teleporter position. He could have probably had it in that corner up here. It's a bit too far for my liking at that stage of the of the game. But yeah, canteens and the shield enemy. Be really close. Make use of that, probably. Fortunate turn. That was just a nothing burger. I have no idea how that spider didn't stab you. Flawless victory. I wouldn't go that far. But it is a victory. You were not satisfied with that game. I probably wouldn't have been either. That sixth wave loss would have just been too frustrating. It's not not even your fault to begin with, so uh yeah. Canteens only so much they can save and do. And they saved a lot during that game, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, you probably just want to consider staying a spy. You see your team just being just pushed to spawn like that. And you got shit done as spy as well. There was plenty of giants. It might have been a pain either way, but being more successful as spy independently would have probably made this easier in the later waves. I would argue, at least. Dealing with the tank, on the other hand, would have probably not been as easy, considering the way it went. But you could also say, the more ground you save for your team, easier it is for them to just deal with the tank at that point, but who can say if that's actually going to happen or not. And yeah, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Yeah, that was good. I like that one. I can send you another one. You should have done so right away. I don't. Yeah, that's good enough. Stock scout on hideout. Sounds like a doozy. Hey, it might be interesting going blind into a demo. Who knows? The reason I wanted to preview demos before actually reviewing them is 
that I could think about it for a while. And just to be safe that there's nothing um, malicious in them, like sprays or somebody shouting racist shit, right? But I don't think it's going to be a problem if you... Ento is kind of a generic name, but that might be something I've been playing with in the past. No other names particularly stand out, that heavy being instant ready. Interesting. 32 minute game tells me that the team is not struggling like hell. I'm ready. I like how it shows you have a grenade launcher, that's cool. So I can't actually inspect your weapon upgrades because New Zealand weapons exist or the game is broken, Kratos TF is broken, the world is broken, who knows. Zone Pro Kill Streak Creep. Natasha Jibus Heavy. Okay. Blocking, good engagement. You killed, all of them. killed all of them! All two! Oh my god! What a crazy feat! Nice crit. Ooh, nice. Thanks, engineer. Unfortunate. Death is indeed stupid. Engine is forward sentry already. Not amazing. Spencer just over on the right there, being useless. 
probably don't want to play around the backside of those. Considering you have a spy, so you should probably just engage them from the front there. As dangerous and scary as it is. Everyone's looking for ammo. More or less just tasked with keeping this bomb safe. Because engineers don't exist in this game mode. Heavy shooting that giant that cannot take any damage. Stellar. Find the circle. And the spy has to take it home. Like how it shows full damage upgrades on your body upgrades. Cool. But at least I can see the weapon upgrades. Kill streak! Oh my god. I mean, as good as I aim. <laughs> no, okay. I, I don't know. I can't compare my aim with other people's aim. My aim is all over the fucking place. Sometimes I just hit shots left and right and then other times I just whiff everything. I'm more of a flick aimer too. I know, this seems to be a really recent game. Was something like that? I, I don't know. Maybe it's on one of those busted servers we played on last, last night. But broken at the time? Don't worry, they're still broken. Stuff. It's by getting called out. Unfortunate. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have his uh Penetration maxed. I, I mean, no, yeah. No, he could have. He should have been able to buy it at this point. You have your damage max, and he's still playing on his own in that corner over there. Yeah. Unfortunate. I don't exactly know why that giant demo turned around. I assume nobody in front was actually actively facing him. So he turned around to shoot you while you were trying to block. I, I can't say it's the wrong move from of you to block. Because you can't really expect that giant demo to turn around randomly. But probably just better to stay away from spies. A scout 
or in general, really. Kind of hard to stay away from from Spice's pyro, but you know. That NG is going to be such a nuisance for all of you in the long run, holy shit. That tank's gonna be a problem. Deal with that engineer is. Good decision on the medics part. And the critzing in with the daggers. All you could have done to save that really. So we had to change maps several times before we changed something we haven't completed yet. Cool. All right, let's feel good. Hmm. I guess the spy saw the tanks as an issue, that's why he switched to pyro. Honestly, wouldn't have seen the tanks as a problem. I cannot wait. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Crit resistance. I'm not sure about that. Is it giant crit heavy? Yeah, but that's like a single target and to invest 450 into that. If you like playing with max movement speed, that's fine. It just doesn't help my aim to play with too much speed, so I usually just keep it at 1. Oh, is the crit resistance from the last wave? If that's the case, then yeah. I didn't see it from last wave. But... Pyro is dead, you got crushed by a tank, welcome to MVM. Solo NG stuff is fucked and everyone's fucked. Looks pretty good. That, that crush was just dumb, just plain old dumb, there was not even a fucking there was nothing there, at all. I don't know what 
and she had this teleporter, but it's down. It's a real cool setup he has there on the helipad, I gotta say. Oh. Yeah, getting caught out. Should've probably just played with your medic and heavy combo. Just sit behind the shield and just shoot at them. Just like that. Attempt. Could have maybe tried to just stay out of this site for a while and hope to God that they focus something else. But I'm just going to be as good as that. Either way. Not exactly the. Best to deal with the medics as scouts. That guy is back on spy, which tells me that he just switched to pyro for the tanks, which makes me sad. Surprised nobody had something to say about this engineer. chat I mean, don't really need to shoot your pistol at just the random steel pistols. Probably just better to reload and just shoot your normal gun. I'd use the pistol mainly as like a distraction tool, aggro tool. You wanna stay stay focused by a giant for instance or something like that. And, and you reloading would just erase the aggro you're pulling.
unfortunate. Not sure if the heavy actually could take that shot properly or if the Natasha resistance just saved them. Okay, I'm, I have no idea why the spy was just blocking that. Soldier. A sentry down there. I'm not actually sure if the uh the quick fix mags in this mission actually use a quick fix. So I'd be really careful of just trying to block them. Maybe going a bit too deep. That's why I don't like about just too too much movement speed, you just boom all over. Which makes it just annoying for me to aim. A database error occurred, please try again later. Okay. Will do. <laughs> Look at me, man. What the hell is the guy's problem? And you could make it make it, make him say that. I just voice line mashups. <sighs> Your Angie's pissing me off so much you don't even know. Many group of saw in a fucking sentry. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> they have an NG. 
question mark. I mean, he's using upgrade building canteens, but I, I don't know where he is. Apparently died by a soldier, so I assume he's in the front line. In his corner over there on the right. A nice spy medic. Ooh, spy getting a nice uber. From the enemy. Team wipe. The team is really good. Let's go. Three tanks, another pyro switch. 